Okay, so now we're finished with uh, inventory costing and we're gonna go into warehouse management. I know it's been a topic people have been pushing to see. I did some of the warehouse management also in NAV, uh, maybe 16, 17, 18. Uh, but now we're gonna do it in Business Central and we're gonna do a series. So it's gonna be a few of them. It's a deep topic. You can go very far in warehouse management. There's a lot that can be done in Business Central. Uh, and we have to start somewhere, so we're going to go ahead and just look at the location. Uh, and that's the main, main part. And uh, with the location, uh, it can be set up in many different ways. So there's a whole setup area on the card. And basically, even when you're going through uh, Business Central and you're using inventory, you can skip location. You can actually say, I'm working with the black location, there is no location in the system. Then the system automatically assumes you have the black location, and that location is set up with nothing specific. It's just no, no complexities, it's just a container to maintain product. However, if you set up a location, you give it a name, like main location, uh, now you have a specific container that is your main location, you can put your inventory into that. And then you can have, of course, another location that's called blue or whatever. Uh, and then you can separate out between the two, and now your inventory is either in the main location or in the blue location. So I don't really recommend using the black location. Uh, I think that's kind of crazy. Uh, I would always give it a name, even if you only have one location, give it a name, call it the main or whatever location. But then, as we separate out these locations by complexity, there are various things we can do. We can say, uh, this main location actually has some warehouse activities that we do. And we, uh, let's say we do receiving and shipping. And I want the warehouse people to post transactions when we receive and ship. So not on the sales order, not on the purchase order, but on their independent documents. And that's where things kind of branch out into complexity. So right now, I'm just gonna show you in the system how we can set up the location card where you can find the, uh, the information about each location and, um, and what I'm talking about here. And then in the next video, we'll actually branch out into creating more complicated uh, locations and transactions towards those locations. So here we go. Take a look at the system. Okay, so let's take a look at the system. Um, when we go into locations, um, we get a list of locations. These are the standard locations that we've set up for this demo database. We have the East Warehouse, the Main Warehouse, uh, Returns, West, and Outsourced Logistics and Own Logistics. Like I said before, you can use the black location. Um, so that means if you receive and receive into no location, um, it actually goes into that black version of the location. I don't recommend that, but uh, it's possible. Uh, let's say if I go here into the main location, <clears throat> as you can see, there is a lot of options here. Uh, and this is gonna take us a little bit of time to cover um, and and we're going to definitely dive into that. But if you don't set any of these options, if they're all just sent to off, this location just acts as a one container for your inventory. Uh, and that's it. It doesn't require anything else. You can just receive into it and ship out of it like we've been doing in most of our uh, coffee mug tutorials. And it's simple. Now, we want to create some complexities in our series. So we're going to move towards that. Um, and there is, for example, right here, where you go into the warehouse tab, you have all these require, receive, shipment, put away, uh, pick, bin mandatory, etc. These checkboxes here will definitely drive up the complexity of your, um, <clears throat> of your warehouse and they will start requiring things to be done in the warehouse. So not only are you uh, just receiving inventory into location, out of location, when you receive the inventory, you are required to do a receive. You're required to do a shipment, um, etc., and that uh, basically creates, like I said, more complexity. But uh, again, it's uh, 
there's a reason for that complexity. <laughs> it's going to help you out in the long run. Uh, but here is basically everything that you can do. Um, and then we have, of course, the zones in bin. So once we get into bin mandatory, which we'll probably get into soon, we'll have to set up the bins and zones. Uh, and, and we'll take a look at that as, as well as we progress through this. So setting a journey for a few videos on this one. Hope you're going to enjoy it.